Navarre English, Spanish, Navarra Na Beta Era, Basque, Nafaroa Nafaroa, Occitan, Navarra Na Ba, officially the Chartered Community of Navarre Spanish, Comunidad Foral de Navarra Comuni a Fo al de Na Beta Era, Basque, Nafaroco Foru Comunitatia Nafaroco Fu Comunitatia, is an autonomous community and province in northern Spain, bordering the Basque Autonomous Community, La Rioja, and Aragon in Spain and Nouvelle Aquitaine in France. The capital city is Pamplona or Arunia in Basque. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> the first documented use of a name resembling Navarra, Nafaroa, or Naparoa is a reference to Navarros in Egenhard's early 9th century chronicle of the feats of the Holy Roman Emperor Charlemagne. Other Royal Frankish annals feature Navarros. There are two proposed etymologies for the name. Basque Nabar declined absolute singular Nabara, brownish, multicolor, i.e., in contrast to the green mountainous lands north of the original county of Navarre. Basque Naba or Castilian Nava, valley, plain, plus Basque Harry, people, land. The linguist Joan Coromines considers Naba to be linguistically part of a wider Vasconic or Aquitanian language substrate, rather than Basque per se. History Antiquity <inaudible> 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 During the Roman Empire, the Vascones, a pre-Roman tribe, populated the southern slopes of the Pyrenees, including the area which would ultimately become Navarre. In the mountainous north, the Vascones escaped large-scale Roman settlement, except for some coastal areas—for example Oyaso in what is now Givercoa, and the flatter areas to the south, Caligoras in what is now La Rioja, which were amenable to large-scale Roman farming—vineyards, olives, and wheat crops. There is no evidence of battles fought or general hostility between Romans and Basques, as they had the same enemies. <inaudible> Kingdom of Navarre Neither the Visigoths nor the Franks ever completely subjugated the area. The Vascones to become the Basques assimilated neighboring tribes as of the 7th century AD. In the year 778, the Basques defeated a Frankish army at the Battle of Ronchevo Pass. Following the Battle of Ronchevo Pass 824, the Basque chieftain Inigo Arista was elected king of Pamplona supported by the Mawalid Banu Qasi of Tadela, establishing a Basque kingdom that was later called Navarre. That kingdom reached its zenith during the reign of Sancho III, comprising most of the Christian realms to the south of the Pyrenees, and even a short overlordship of Gascony in the early 11th century. When Sancho III died in 1035, the kingdom was divided between his sons. It never fully recovered its political power, while its commercial importance increased as traders and pilgrims the Franks poured into the kingdom via the way of St. James. In 1200, Navarre lost the key western Basque districts to Alphonse VIII of Castile, leaving the kingdom landlocked. Navarre then contributed with a small but symbolic force of 200 knights to the decisive Battle of Las Navas de Toulouse in 1212 against the Almohads. The native line of kings came to an end in 1234, their heirs intermarried with French dynasties. However, the Navarres kept most of their strong laws and institutions. The death of Queen Blanche I 1441 inaugurated a civil war period between the Beaumont and Agramont confederacies with the intervention of the Castilian Aragonese House of Trastamara in Navarre's internal affairs. In 1512, Navarre was invaded by Ferdinand the Catholic's troops, with Queen Catherine and King John III withdrawing to the north of the Pyrenees, and establishing a kingdom of Navarre Bayern, led by Queen Joan III as of 1555. To the south of the Pyrenees, Navarre was annexed to the Crown of Castile 1515, but kept a separate ambiguous status, and a shaky balance up to 1610—King Henry III ready to march over Spanish Navarre. A chartered government was established the Diputacion, and the kingdom managed to keep home rule. Tensions with the Spanish government came to a head as of 1794, when Spanish Premier Manuel Godoy attempted to suppress Navarrese and Basque self-government altogether, with the end of the First Carlist War 1839 definitely bringing the kingdom and its home rule fueros to an end. <laughs> <laughs> Spain 
Topic: Province of Spain. Topic: Loss of home rule. After the 1839 Convention of Bergara, a reduced version of home rule was passed in 1839. However, the 1841 Act for the Modification of Fueros later called the Compromise Act definitely made the kingdom into a province after a compromise was reached by the Spanish government with officials of the Provincial Council of Navarre. The relocation of customs from the Ebro River to the Pyrenees in 1841 prompted the collapse of Navarre's customary cross-Pyrenean trade and the rise of smuggling. Amid instability in Spain, Carlists took over in Navarre and the rest of the Basque provinces. An actual Basque state was established during the Third Carlist War with Estella as its capital 1872 but King Alfonso XII's restoration in the throne of Spain and a counterattack prompted the Carlist defeat. The end of the Third Carlist War saw a renewed wave of Spanish centralization directly affecting Navarre. In 1893–1894 the Gamazada popular uprising took place centered in Pamplona against Madrid's governmental decisions breaching the 1841 chartered provisions. Except for a small faction the so-called Alfonsinos, all parties in Navarre agreed on the need for a new political framework based on home rule within the Loric Bat, the Basque districts in Spain. Among these, the Carlists stood out, who politically dominated the province, and resented an increased string of rulings and laws passed by Madrid, as well as left-leaning influences. Unlike Biscay or Givercoa, Navarre did not develop manufacturing during this period, remaining a basically rural economy. <laughs> Republic and military uprising In 1932, a Basque country's separate statute failed to take off over disagreements on the centrality of Catholicism. A scene of political radicalization ensued, dividing the leftist and rightist forces during the Second Spanish Republic (1931–1939). Thousands of landless laborers occupied properties of wealthy landowners in October 1933, leaving the latter eager for revenge. The most reactionary and clerical Carlists came to prominence, ideologues such as Victor Pratera, and an understanding with General Mola paved the way to the Spanish nationalist uprising in Pamplona the 18th of July 1936. The triumphant military revolt was followed by a terror campaign in the rearguard against blacklisted individuals considered to be progressive, reds, mildly republicans, or just inconvenient. The purge especially affected southern Navarre along the Ebro banks, and counted on the active complicity of the clergy, who adopted the fascist salute and even involved in murderous tasks. The killing took a death toll of at least 2,857, plus a further 305 dying in prisons, ill treatment, malnutrition, the dead were buried in mass graves or discarded into chasms abounding on the central hilly areas Urbasa, etc. Basque nationalists were also chased to a lesser extent, e.g. Fortunato Aguirre, a Basque nationalist and mayor of Estella and co-founder of Osasuna Football Club, was executed in September 1936. Humiliation and silence ensued for the survivors. Pamplona became the rebel launching point against the Republic during the war in the north. <laughs> Post-war scene As a reward for its support in the Spanish Civil War, Navarre sided for the most part with the military uprising. Franco allowed Navarre, as it happened with Oliva, to maintain during his dictatorship a number of prerogatives reminiscent of the ancient Navarrese liberties. The bleak post war years were shaken by shortage, famine, and smuggling, with the economy relying on agriculture wheat, vineyards, olive, barley, and a negative migration balance. The victors came to cluster around two main factions, Carlists and Falangists, while the totalitarian ultra-Catholic environment provided fertile grounds for another religious group, the Opus Dei, to found their University of Navarre 1952, ever more influential in Pamplona. The coming of the Society of Consumption and incipient economic liberalization saw also the establishment of factories and workshops during the early 1960s automobile manufacturing and accessories, etc., especially around the overgrown capital. It was followed by labor and political unrest. 
In the run-up to Spanish democracy constitution ratified in 1978, Navarre plunged into a climate of violence practiced by ETA, police forces, and state-sponsored paramilitary groups, extending through the 1980s and beyond. Tension during the Spanish transition Officials and figures with good connections to the Navarrese regional government went on to join Adolfo Suárez's UCD, later splitting into the party UPN led by Jaime Ignacio del Burgo and Jesús Ispin Tuero refusing to join a democratic constitutional process on the grounds that Navarre's charters or fueros remained in place. They also refused to join the Basque process to become an autonomous community, where recently legalized Basque nationalist and leftist parties held a majority. A continuation of the institutional framework inherited from the dictatorship and its accommodation into the Spanish democracy was guaranteed by the betterment a, a Navarre-only solution considered an upgrade of its former status issued from the remains of the charters. In a three-year span, the Spanish socialists in Navarre veered in their position, quit the Basque process, and joined the arrangement adopted for Navarre Chartered Community of Navarre, 1982. The reform was not ratified by referendum, as demanded by Basque nationalist and minority progressive forces. Politics Institutions and status After the end of Franco's dictatorship, Navarre became one of the 17 autonomous communities in Spain. The community ceremonies, education, and social services, together with housing, urban development, and environment protection policies are under the responsibility of Navarre's political institutions. As in the rest of communities, Navarre has a parliament elected every four years, and the majority in this parliament determines the president of the community, who is in charge of Navarre's government. Unlike most other autonomous communities of Spain but like the Basque Autonomous Community, Navarre has almost full responsibility for collecting and administering taxes which must follow the overall guidelines established by the Spanish government but may have some minor differences. The first three presidents of the community belonged to the extinct Union of the Democratic Center UCD party. After 1984 the government was ruled by either the Socialist Party of Navarre PSN -PSOE, one of the federative components of the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, main center-left wing party in Spain or the Navarrese People's Union UPN, a Navarrese party that had a long alliance with the People's Party PP, main right-wing party in Spain. However, in 2015 Ushue Barcos became president with the support of A. Bildu, Podemos and Izquierda Izquierda. She is the first Basque nationalist president in Navarre. Basque nationalist parties also represent a sizable part of the vote around 31% in the 2015 elections, and a majority in most of the northern areas. Basque nationalist parties have as a key point in their agendas to merge Navarre into the Basque Autonomous Community by referendum as predicted in the Spanish Constitution. All Spain-based parties, as well as UPN and PSN, oppose this move. <laughs> Present-day political dynamics Politics in Navarre has been marked by fierce rivalry between two blocs representing different national identities that are part of Navarre society, Basque nationalist A. Bildu and pro-Basque Jero Abai parties, on the one side, and the institutional pro-Spanish parties, UPN, PP and PSN on the other. Parties on the pro-Basque spectrum demand further sovereignty in internal affairs of Navarre and closer relationship with the districts of the Basque autonomous community. In the past, pro-Basque parties were excluded from key political posts and institutions. Another 2013-2014 controversy refers to the alleged ideological profiling of public school Basque language teachers, billed as ETA supporting teachers. Since the establishment of Navarre's present status the the betterment in 1982, the successive regional governments ruled by UPN and PSN have been shaken by frequent political instability and corruption scandals, with UPN's Miguel Sanz's term being the most stable and longest, extending from 2001 to 2011. 
Between 2012 and 2014, a series of corruption scandals broke out involving regional president Yolanda Barchina and other regional government officials that included influence peddling, embezzlement, misappropriation of funds and mismanagement leading to the bankruptcy of Caja Navarra. By November 2012, the PSN—UPN's standing ally in Navarre up to that point, Backed down on its support of UPN, but refused to impeach Yolanda Barchina or search new political alliances, leaving a deadlocked government. The regional president, widely questioned in Navarre as of 2012 and relying only on the PP central government's backup, went on to urge the Constitutional Court to challenge several decisions made by the Parliament of Navarre, after the latest scandal and corruption allegations affecting a secretary of her cabinet Lords Gacocia, regional public finance secretary in February 2014, the Spanish Home Office Secretary Jorge Fernández Díaz stepped in warning leading members of PSN that, Navarre is strategic for Spain and asserting that any other political alliance means supporting ETA. The Justice Secretary in Madrid Alberto Ruiz Gallardin in turn stated that the worst political error is not corruption, but getting along with Bildu, a Basque pro-independence coalition. In May 2015, the elections for Navarre Parliament left a better result for pro-Basque parties, which managed to establish an alliance between Jero Abai nine seats, A. Bildu eight seats, Podemos seven seats, and Izquierda Izikera two seats, by which Ushue Barcos from Jero Abai was elected President of Navarre for the period 2015-2019. In local elections, UPN lost every municipality with over 10,000 inhabitants, landing A. Bildu the largest figure of elected mayors. In December 2017, the Navarrese Parliament passed a law splitting teachers aspiring to work in the state-run education network into two different professional categories, one for those qualified in Basque and Spanish, and another for Spanish monolinguals, so thwarting with the vote of Izquierda Izikera integrated in the regional government the new progressive governments plan to have just one, the latter echoes a long-running demand of education unions. In July 2018, the Constitutional Court of Spain suspended the Far Rights and Civil Servants Victims Act passed by the Parliament of Navarre in 2015. Three months later, the chief executive officer of the National Police in Navarre stepped down for the disclosure of a fake Twitter account he owned that praised Antonio Tejero, as well as Vox leader Santiago Abascal as a new José Antonio, also insulting a number of Catalan and Basque nationalist and leftist figures. Geography and climate Navarre consists of 272 municipalities and has a total population of 601,874 2006, of whom approximately one-third live in the capital, Pamplona pop, and one-half in the capital's metropolitan area there are no other large municipalities in the region. The next largest are Tadella 32,802, Barañón 22,401, Berlada 18,388, Estella Lazara 13,892, Zizer Mayer 13,197, Tafala 11,040, Vilava Adarabia 10,295 and Anzian 9,952. Despite its relatively small size, Navarre features stark contrasts in geography, from the Pyrenees mountain range that dominates the territory to the plains of the Ebro River Valley in the south. The highest point in Navarre is Mesa de los Tres Reyes, with an elevation of 2,428 meters feet). Other important mountains are Texamanchoya, Cartexela, the Lara Balagua Massif, Sierra de Alés, Unsueco Heria, Sierra de Lair, Sierra del Perdón, Montajara, Escaba, Monte Ori, Sierra de Codes, Urbasa, Andía, and the Arrailer Range. In the north, climate is affected by the Atlantic Ocean leading an oceanic west coast climate Copen, CFB. at central Navarre the summer precipitations start to lower, leading to a Mediterranean climate Copen, CSA and CSB. at the southernmost part of Navarre the climate is cool semi-arid 
The sole official weather station of Navarre is located in Pamplona in its northwestern corner and has summer highs of 28 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and lows of 14 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, while winter highs are 9 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and lows 1 degree Celsius degrees Fahrenheit with moderate precipitation year-round. Cultural heritage Navarre is a mixture of its Vasconic tradition, the trans-Pyrenean influx of people and ideas and Mediterranean influences coming from the Ebro. The Ebro Valley is amenable to wheat, vegetables, wine, and even olive trees as in Aragon and La Rioja. It was a part of the Roman Empire, inhabited by the Vascones, later controlled on its southern fringes by the Muslims Banu Qasi, whose authority was taken over by the Taifa Kingdom of Tudela in the 11th century. During the Reconquista, Navarre gained little ground at the expense of the Muslims, since its southern boundary had already been established by the time of the Battle of Las Navas de Toulouse in 1212. Starting in the 11th century, the Way of St. James grew in importance. It brought pilgrims, traders and Christian soldiers from the north. Gascons and Occitanians from beyond the Pyrenees called Franks received self-government and other privileges to foster settlement in Navarre's towns, and they brought their crafts, culture and Romance languages. Jews and Muslims were persecuted both north and south of Navarre, expelled for the most part during the late 15th century to the early 16th century. The kingdom struggled to maintain its separate identity in 14th and 15th centuries, and after King Ferdinand V forcibly conquered Navarre after the death of his wife Queen Isabella, he extended the Castilian expulsion and forcible integration orders applicable to conversos and mudajars of 1492 to the former kingdom. Therefore, Tadella in particular could no longer serve as a refuge after the inquisitors were allowed. Economy Navarre is one of the richest regions in Spain. The unemployment rate stood at 10.2% in 2017 and was the lowest in the country. <inaudible> Energy policy Navarre leads Europe in its use of renewable energy technology and was planning to reach 100% renewable electricity generation by 2010. By 2004, 61% of the region's electricity was generated by renewable sources consisting of 43.6% from 28 wind farms, 12% from over 100 small-scale water turbines, and 5.3% from two biomass and two biogas plants. In addition, the region had what was then Spain's largest photovoltaic power plant at Montes de Cierzo de Tadela 1.2 MWP capacity plus several hundred smaller photovoltaic installations. Developments since 2004 have included further photovoltaic plants at Larian 0.25 MWP and another at Castellón 2.44 MWP, also once the largest in Spain. Languages Spanish is the official language throughout Navarre. Basque also has co-official status in the Basque-speaking area. The northwestern part of the community is largely Basque-speaking, while the southern part is entirely Spanish-speaking. The capital, Pamplona, is in the mixed region. Navarre is legally divided into three linguistic regions, regions where Basque is widespread and co-official the Basque-speaking area, regions where Basque is present and has reduced co-official recognition the mixed region, and regions where Basque is non-official. In 2006 11.1% of people in Navarre were Basque speakers, 7.6% were passive speakers and 81.3% were Spanish-speaking monolinguals, an increase from 9.5% Basque speakers in 1991. The age distribution of speakers is unequal, with the lowest percentages in the above 35 age group, rising to 20% amongst the 16 to 24 age group. The 2011 census showed another small increase in the percentage of Basque speakers to 11.7%, speakers. In June 2017, the parliament approved the modification of the Basque Language Act, assigning 44 new municipalities to the transition area, where Basque language has certain recognition as a native language. Topic: 
See also Basque Country Greater Region Basque Language Euskadi Caja Navarra Kingdom of Navarre Kings of Navarre Lower Navarre Nueva Navarra Parliament of Navarre Renewable energy in the European Union Topic Notes and references Topic External links Official website in Basque, English, French, Spanish. History of Navarre. Lasbardenas, Cavan, Grote Valtira, Cuevas de Valtira. Bardenas Reels Desert, Navarra. Northern Spanish region leads way on renewable energy. Navarra, electricity from renewable energy sources. PDF. Archived from the original PDF on the 25th of July 2006, 211 kilobytes. Euskara Culture Elcargo Basque Cultural Foundation Guide to the Navarra Pyrenees Mountains.